of the winners. Yes, because God Almighty is in charge. And he will test us and he will put us through the fire and we come out of it and we thank you. Oh Lord, that's so good, it's over. Here we go around the mountain again. <laughs> Been going around the mountain lately? Any of you? Sometimes it can be real hard. Real, real hard. Silver has to be polished every single day or else the blackness starts coming. And that's your daily walk with Jesus. That's why I call this message the refining of the saints. Because God loves you. He loves you so much, He died for you that you might know the Father in a personal and intimate way. Though none go with me, I still will follow. Though none go with me, I still will follow. Though none go with me, I still will follow. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. Amen? Amen. I mean, this section throughout the... I've looked through these pages this morning as I looked at these and the words... <clears throat> Number 366 says, I surrender all. All to Jesus, I surrender. All to Him, I freely give. I will ever love and trust Him in His presence, daily live. All to Jesus, I surrender. Humbly at His feet, I bow. Worldly pleasures, all forsaken. Now, God's not against us enjoying ourselves, and this is the time of year where we're supposed to enjoy ourselves. Amen? That's like what, when Linda was up here this morning. She said, well, well, what do I play? I said, you can play Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> it's a festive and occasional, uh, um, a happy occasion, and a time of celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Are we to celebrate? Absolutely, absolutely. With singing and praise and worship and, and families getting together and eating all the good food and pecan pie and everything <laughs> else. Oh, yes, yes, yes. How many had a good Thanksgiving? Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. And you know, one of the greatest things of all at Christmas time is to give. That's what God has done with us. He's the greatest giver this world has ever known. And if we're holding the heart of Christmas, is to be a giver. Ask the Holy Spirit in the days to come. Now we got four more Sundays before actual Christmas. Lord, who can I bless? Who can I bless? It doesn't have to be a huge, big thing. Although in some instances it may result in an amount of money. But the Bible says, God, when we give to the poor especially, God says, I count that as a debt against myself. I will repay. God says he'll pay you back on that. And you don't, we don't do it to get paid back per se. We do it because of what God has done for us and how we feel. Of we were the ones that were poor. We were the ones that were bankrupt. We were the ones that could not save ourselves. And he's given us his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen? Amen. I pray everybody in here and I think everybody in here is a true born again believer in Jesus Christ. But remember, even as we're going through these days ahead and the different things that happen and there will be some you know, sometimes for some people, remember this now, Christmas is the worst time of year. For some people, it's the worst time of year. Because there's no family. There's no loved ones. They're all alone. Who do you know that's all alone that you can bless? Ask the Holy Spirit. He knows exactly whom you should contact whom you should go visit, whom you should bake a pie and take a knock on their door. They may not like the pie you bring at all, but they will 
honor your love as you express it in the name of Jesus. You know, like I say, only eternity will show what one person's little efforts will mean to somebody. Firmly rely on God. And yes, we are in the pot, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we are being burned. Yes, we are being tested. Yes, we are being put to death. We're the frog in the kettle, ladies and gentlemen. We're the ones that God is sifting and working with and burning and clearing out and cleaning out. Yes, we are. Because he has one pattern, and that pattern is Jesus Christ. Amen? And that we're all in it one time or another. We're all going around the mountain again and again and again. And I've had to go around the mountain sometimes, so many times, I said, God, I am sick and tired of this. Well, son, don't you know the changes I've told you about changing in your life? Uh, well, uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, you know, we start crawfishing and swimming you know, around because we have no excuse. No excuse. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. Amen? Amen. Let's stand. Hallelujah. It's okay, Linda. It's okay. Thank you. Hallelujah. You're here this morning, and you do need the laying on of hands or prayer of faith on your behalf. Come forward. Slip up here. We will pray with you and pray for you that whatever your desire and whatever your need from God, we will agree together with you. We will agree together with you that your heart's desire is met in Jesus Christ. Amen.